Welcome to IN S193, Technical Partnership for Engineers and Technologists, Module 2, Innovation and Ideas. So for this lesson, we will be discussing what is innovation and its types. And also, it is important to understand the difference between research and development and the idea of organization-driven and market-driven ideas. So by the end of this module, you should be able to define what is innovation, understand the difference between research and development, also understand innovation driven versus small medium enterprise and understand organization driven versus market driven ideas. What comes to your mind when you hear or come across the word innovation? Innovation could be or could mean something new or bringing up something new or making changes or creating something that is novel or original or thinking of some new ideas or anything that creates value or simply improvements. So innovation can be defined in many terms depending on its application. So let's let us cite some quotes from different uh, famous experts on what are their thoughts about innovation. So this is innovation from the experts. First is Tom Preston. He is the co-founder of MTV. And according to him, innovation is taking two things that exist and putting them together in a new way. So it is a combination, combination of two things that is existing and and you combining together thinking of a new way of how how it will work so yun yung innovation another is according to william brody he's a scientist so according to him quote unquote what is the calculus of innovation the calculus of innovation is is really quite simple Knowledge drives innovation. Innovation drives productivity. Productivity drives economic growth. So that is innovation for William Brody. Next is Theodore Levitt, a renowned economist. So according to him, creativity is thinking up new things and innovation is doing new things. So innovation is more on doing that thing. So kailangan gawin yung naisip mong idea para ma-realize mo yung idea na yun. Next is Albert Einstein. So according to him, you can't wait for inspiration. You have to go after it with a club. So Inspiration daw doesn't come in a blink of an eye. So kailangan, you'll have to do some research or um, yes, research para mag, you, you'll have to come up with an idea. So then when you come up with that idea, so gagawin mo na, you have to work on it. Now next is Thomas Edison, so, of course, inventor. So he said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. So innovation, hindi mo magagawa ng isang try lang. So, and boom, nag-click na yung idea mo. So no, hindi. So it is a trial and error sa mga first part ng uh, experiment mo or ng uh, process. So and there is a way to do it better find it so see kailangan to find uh, better ideas kailangan mong gawin so kailangan mong mag research or you'll have to work on it para you will come across a uh, better idea for that something na kailang gusto mong, gusto mong baguhin next is Bob Iger media executive of and businessman. So the riskiest thing we can do is just maintain the status quo. So 
if you have a uh, business, if you are a businessman and your uh, return of your business is um, uh, uh, going higher and higher, so you'll have to maintain that status. So that is risky, risky, kasi kailangan hindi hindi siya bababa. So maintaining your status is um, hard, but kailangan mong uh, uh, you have to work hard on it para maintain mo yung status quo. Next is from an ancient a uh, Chinese proverb when the winds of change blow some people build walls and other build with mills so bayo ang pag-isip ng mga tao so pag may dumating na change or opportunities some people will just ignore it or hindi na alam kung ano yung pwedeng gawin sa opportunity na yun. but there are people na pag may dumating na changes ah okay pwede kong gawin to so ganun then Warren Warren Benis, a scholar and organizational consultant. So, according to him, innovation or any new idea by definition will not be accepted at first. So, kung idea pa yan, hindi matatanggap yan. So, it takes repeated attempts, endless demonstrations, monotonous rehearsals before innova innovation can be accepted and internalized by, uh, by an organization. So, this requires courageous patience. Innovation, according to Oslo Manual, an international reference guide for innovation, it is a new or improved product or process, or a combination thereof, that differs significantly from the unit's previous products or processes, and that has been made available to potential users, or brought into use by the unit or process. So that is innovation. So what are the types of innovation first is organizational innovation so it is an innovation that concerns the um, organization organization or the workplace so it is the development of a new organizational strategy that will somehow change a company's business practices and also the way its workplace is organized and its relationship with external stakeholders so sample of this is um four day week working schedule so the usual is five days but the new working schedule for example is four day week so uh, in a week around four days na working schedule and three days na uh, break or uh, rest and also so pandemic ngayon the, uh, the so-called work from home so but this is depending on the role of the employee. So there are employees na they, could, they can do their work at, from home, but there are also employees na will have to do their work sa office mismo. So that is organizational innovation. Next is process innovation. Process innovation is about implementing a new or improved production or delivery approach including changes in operational methods and techniques used and equipment or software. So example of this is SaaS, the software as a service technology. So also yung online booking and application. So imbis na tatanggap sila ng applicants face to face or sa office mismo to receive the uh, uh, data or yung uh, kailangan na data from the applicant. So Ngayon, oh, pwede na yung online booking or online application para pupunta ka na lang doon pag dating na ng scheduled na uh, interview or um, uh, transaction mo. So, yun yung process innovation. Next is product innovation. So, product innovation is the introduction of new or improved good, good or service. So, these inventions or changes made may have to do with improving technical specifications or yung materials na gagamitin or software in creating those product or even advancing the user experience. So, it adds available to potential uh, adds available to potential users but doesn't necessarily need generate sales. So, product innovation is not primarily um, done to increase your sales but it is done to improve the 
uh, service or uh, to improve the effect ng product or service dun sa potential users. So, for example, Lego. So, Lego is diba plastic yung Lego. But now, they have been changing the materials of its famous bricks to biodegradable oil-based plastic. So, in that way, less harmful na siya, for example, sa mga bata. So, yun yung naging improvement niya dun sa users, current users. Now, next is electric vehicles. Okay? The next is new batteries with longer ranges. So, yan yung example ng product innovation. Fourth is marketing innovation. So, it means that you are developing new marketing strategy sa product mo. So, it could be a changes in a way you design or pack your product or even other decisions regarding price and promotion. So, it is... Uh, changes in how you are presenting your product dun sa market. So, example is the Hagen dazs new waste-free container. So, this is an ice cream company. So, usually ice cream comes in a uh, uh, plastic container. So, ngayon, yung idea nila is uh, creating it in a uh, uh, metal canister. So, stainless metal in canisters. So, this is a 100% free, 100% uh, reusable and recyclable na reusable na container. The next is easy open can. So, hindi ka na, uh, so as the uh, name suggests, so easy na yung pag-open ng mga can goods. And next is paper straw. So, that is marketing innovation. On the fifth type of innovation is eco innovation. So, it is an innovation resulting in a significant progress towards the 2030 goals sustainable development established by the UN. So these are the goals that should be achieved by 2030. That is the envision of the UN. So no poverty, zero hunger, um, industry, innovation, infrastructure. So then you mga um, goals ng UN. So, in practice, it means reducing the impact of our production modes on the environment, improving nature's resilience to environmental stresses, or achieving a larger, efficient, and responsible use of natural resources. So, it is an innovation that uh, mainly concerning the environment. So, yan yung eco-innovation. So, iba, iba yung application ng innovation. So, hindi lang siya uh, pang business. So, it, it isn't just about business. So, it is a process, a dynamic process that needs implementation that something is put into active or made available. But it can take place in all sectors of an economy. So, it can take place, of course, a business. It can also take place sa uh, general government. So, may mga changes na ina-apply to accommodate some concerns. Then, at the small units, household natin, meron din mga changes or innovation na ina-apply. And sa mga um, NGOs concerning or uh, serving community or household. So, uh, uh, innovation is very uh, uh, diverse na word or a vast yung meaning niya. Depende sa application. So here are examples of famous innovators. First is Steve Jobs for developing the smartphone world, the iPad. Marie Curie made great researches on radioactivity. Elon Musk so have been marketing great progress in luxurious electric cars. Anne Kisling made plenty of findings in the area of biology. Nikola Tesla, so the production, transmission, and application of electric power. Amanda Jones, the inventor of vacuum method of canning. Thomas Edison invented the incandescent electric light bulb. Grace Hopper invented the first compiler for a computer programming language. Leonardo da Vinci invented the parachute. Josephine Cochrane invented the first mechanical dishwasher. And Alexander Graham Bell invented the first Telephone. So these are uh, innovators that until now, yung naging uh, yung changes na uh, ginawa nila is 
affected tayo hanggang ngayon. So, uh, world-breaking na mga innovations. Now, next is research versus development. So, ano ba yung difference ng research dun sa development? So, research, it is a learning process. So, this is when we try to define the ways that things work and truly understand them. So, nag-research tayo na paano natin ma-define yung isang phenomenon, isang thing, or isang bagay. And, uh, ginagawa natin yung research para ma-understand natin yung kung ano yung bagay na yun. So, this is the time for wide open questions. So, maraming ng question dito. So, is it possible? So, what is this? So, why does this happen? So, yun yung uh, research. So, but it's the per first step. So, for without understanding, without some idea of how and why things in the world happen as they do, we are often unable to make use of this phenomena for any useful purpose. So, kailangan yung research. Now, development is about achieving function. So, if that thing or that you came across with, so, pag nag-research ka na, so, i-develop mo na siya. So, you'll have uh, to develop it para magkaroon siya ng function. So, this is when we consider how we can bend the natural order, order of the universe to our will to serve our purpose. So, this is the time for narrow focus. So, question is, can I make this happen in a, in a reliable way for an acceptable cost? So, yun yung question done. So, this is all about utility and applying known concepts to problems of particular interest. So, hahanapan mo na yung, ng utility yung, yung uh, phenomena or yung bagay na yun. So, this is the glory zone. So, the, the money-making area. So, the thing where it's easy to see the importance of the work. So, when you're in the phase na you are close to uh, selling or uh, producing uh, the idea, so, doon mo na ma ma makikita yung importance niya. So, mas magiging eager ka na tapusin yung uh, dinidevelop mo na uh, idea. So, <clears throat> but for without research, however, development is slower, more, com more cumbersome, and less effective. So, this is why research and development, so, hindi mo pa maghihiwala yung research and development. So, before you develop something, you'll have to research on it muna. Yung mga basic na definition na kailangan mo para ma-develop yung idea na yun. So, when you, uh, para malaman mo how it, how it works. So, if you know yung function ng isang bagay, so, pwede ka na mag-isip ng idea para ma-develop mo pa yun to achieve more function. So, yun yung research and development. Hindi sila mapag-iwalay. Next is innovation-driven enterprises or and small and medium enterprises. <clears throat> so the primary difference between the two is their purpose. So for IDEs, they seek to bring innovations to global markets. So this is more risky. Why? Because it is uh, bringing new idea or untested ideas to the market. So, it is technological advance, advancement na something new. So, hindi mo alam kung magkiklik ba siya or, or hindi. So, but it, uh, it, 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 it has the potential for high growth is significant. So, pag nagklik siya, talagang magbuboom na siya agad. So, yun yung IDE. So, a successful IDE has the potential to create many jobs and have an impact on the market itself and the economy overall. So for SME, they seek to build traditional and well understood businesses that serve local demand. Success is based on their business acumen, execution of their idea and local demand. So ang success ng SME is linear. So they are unlikely to take off the way that successful ideas do, but they are the backbone for many local economies. So yung mga local na mga businesses or local economy. So, and also, they help provide jobs at a local level. So, that is the difference between IDEs and SMEs. So, next is organization-driven ideas and market-driven ideas. So, between ODE and MDI is, for ODE, directed from the top, but the ideas are driven from the bottom. So, 
yung idea say for an organization hindi lang nasusunod yung nasa taas so kinukuha din nila yung idea ng mga employees nila sa baba so yan yung ODE so it is a demonstration of the correlation between bottom up ideas so bottom up so and this directed from the top but the ideas mainly comes from the but uh, yung mga bottom employees. So ideas are free because employees are free to suggest kung ano yung magandang idea. So it is a clear relationship between the frontline ideas and innovation. But for MDI, value of customer feedback yung focus nila. So they get closer to customers, stay ahead of competitors, and make decisions based on their market. So they totally focus on the Feedback of the customer. Kung ano yung gusto ng customer? So, it is a continuous evolving process focused on customer mismo. So, that's all. So, mainly, I search it online sa mga uh, website uh, featuring uh, innovations. So, that's our module 2. And thank you and have a good day.